Hey everybody, we got another making a new Pokemon. I'm Helikid. And I'm Argentian. And if you couldn't tell from the title, if you can't tell from this little tidbit right here, I'm making a new form for Melmetal. Meltan's evolution. Hey, <laughs> evolution. <laughs> oh. You see what's going on here? You're drawing something? <laughs> I am I am drawing something. I got my sketchbook sketches there. I am making some uh, vector art shapes that are going over the sketches to make some vector art. And I've got the colors picked out there and I'm coloring as I go this time mm -hmm. rather than coloring it all at the end last time. So what do you notice? What do you notice? I'm noticing the magnet at the end of this guitar shaped mm -hmm. figure. And you noticed that eye that you said looks like an unknown eye before? Yes. It's actually the Magnemite eye. Oh. Oh. Right. So, part of the Melmetal lore, if you will, is that it goes along like absorbing metal things, and that's how it becomes big and strong. Wait a second. I just realized it's like an electromagnet. <laughs> yes. Wait. Why is that just clicking with me? <laughs> what do you... What? Magnemite. Because it's a, an electric type, but it's made out of magnets. Oh. So I thought what? you meant Melmetal. <laughs> no. Right. Yeah. Well, it took you a few years to, <laughs> that you but finally got... But it's cool, because now you have an electric guitar. <laughs> yeah. But it's a magnetic yes. electric guitar. So which I... is super cool. Yeah. <gasps> kind of nerdy. Cool. It's really nerdy, but it's great. Yeah. Okay, continue. All right. Thanks for <laughs> pitching that in. Now we all know yes. that Magnemite is an electromagnet. So do compasses just like spin when it's around? <laughs> Probably. Go crazy. Nice. I would say so. Okay. So I, I uh, went with the metal theming and played it up with heavy metal, Mel Metal. Mm. And that's why we got this hard rock, heavy metal aesthetic with the electric guitar. And so, uh, Meltan absorbs all the metal stuff to become Melmetal. And I think in the actual lore, it absorbs other Meltan. But this, I have it absorbing Magnemites also to become this monster. Okay, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. So it's like a magnet pulling in metal and then absorbing it. It's like that, but I don't think Meltan is a magnet. <laughs> Meltan wouldn't be a magnet? No. No, it's just a metal blob. But you made it have the magnet thing right. on it. Okay, sorry. Continue. But but Mel Metal's the one of doing the absorbing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice sound effect. And it absorbs it, or them, to become this heavy metal version. So it also has some electric powers with the electric guitar. It just all fits together so well. I like it. With the words and the meanings of the words and mm -hmm. stuff. What else are you noticing? Mm. Or are you thinking? Or you saw the final product very briefly. I did. I... okay. It's hard for me to remember that part back. <laughs> well, that's okay. So... It had that singular looking eye thing, I think. Is that supposed to be where the eye is? Or is the eye on its stomach? <laughs> the eye is up in the head. So to fit the heavy metal aesthetic, I have like a broken uh, hex nut. Yes, I saw that. Like, as in Meltan and Melmetal's actual evolution form. So I have that like broken off to fit the rough and tumble. Yeah. That's a country term, but whatever. Heavy metal look. Yeah. But then the eye is still up there. Okay, so it's... Uh, it just briefly went away. So it's that, like, V-shaped thing. Yeah, right and I, ha it's, I have a V-shape to be, like... Like it's too Like, big. angry, like, rough. Oh, like, making gotcha. a tough tough guy metal face. Okay. Like, he's really shredding on that guitar. Okay. He's <laughs> slaying it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, another thing... I noticed mm -hmm. is that there was an eye looking shape on the chest which we kind of talked about but then is that going to be 
kind of like making him into some sort of superhero like Iron Man. <laughs> Is that an eye pun? Iron Man? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and because he's made of metal. <laughs> you know, isn't every Pokemon kind of like a superhero? No. No? Okay. No. <laughs> I think we can safely say that Wobbuffet is not a superhero of any Wobbuffet kind. Wobbuffet is not the superhero we need, but it is the one we deserve. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's how it goes, right? I want to point out that the little like red flappy tail things that mm-hmm. Meltan and Melmetal have... I gave him those, but I gave him those, like, jagged and cool. But I also gave him those to be the guitar straps. Nice. Yeah. It kind of looks like a frayed wire to me. Just, like, think, flying out there. I think that is kind of what it's supposed to be. I don't actually know. But if anyone does know, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> um, nice. Yeah. I think we were going to say something else. I was talking about him looking like a superhero, like Iron Man. Hmm. I'm glad you think that. Yeah. Because he's pretty super to me. <laughs> so I took, like, the screws from Magnemite, just kind of put them on his arms and legs also. Gotcha. Just to make him look tougher. Like, mm-hmm. some metal metal heads will wear, like, stud bracelets and stud <laughs> belts and stuff. Just studded stuff. Because he's a stud. So I got, <laughs> yeah, he's a stud. Um, yeah, just kind of putting some melty waves in there. I did not like those ones on the feet, so I took them out. Giving him mm. some hex nut bracelets. Cute. <laughs> just kidding. He would hate that you just said that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said it. Uh, I know. Uh, okay. Oh, I know. <laughs> See, there's kind of the full picture right there. Nice. But then I'm going to go in and do some more kind of detailed lining and then shading, too. Okay, so tell me about his type. Well, he's metal type. In the game. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you like that just very obvious statement? Well, he's yeah. metal type. <laughs> Thanks. Yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> um, I don't... I don't... I don't think he's also electric type, but he knows electric type moves. Okay. But I would also make him electric type for this, I think, because of the magnemite right. absorption. Yeah, so I gave him that, like, darker metal as the mohawk. I like it. Which I know is more of a punk rock thing, but, you know. It adds. I just kind of added the whole rock genre in there. I'm actually a huge fan of this design. I'm going to toot my own horn there. Yeah. What are you saying? This looks... It's pretty legit, but... Okay, so there are multiple eyes. Does that mean it absorbed a bunch of magnemites? Yes. And that's them, like peering out who knows if they're still alive in there or not Ugh. in the mass of metal I don't like that <laughs> <laughs> but yeah he absorbed multiple of them that reminds me of that doctor who episode <laughs> there's just Ooh, a bunch of people one? living inside of a thing remember doctor who was inside of the eyeball the selector yeah yeah so there's just a bunch of magnemites living inside of this thing could be I thought you were going to say another Doctor Who episode, but we haven't watched it yet. Oh, well, don't give it away yet. I won't, but I'll just tease it. Uh, if anyone watching knows the one I'm talking about, where it's like the Doctor Who fan club tries to collect all these uh, pieces of information about the Doctor, and then this one guy comes and takes over the operation, and he, it just like becomes very weird and stressful when he does that, because he's got some other motives, it seems like, and it's kind of filmed from a like YouTube documentary perspective. Oh. One of their experimental episodes of that uh, nice. that season. But for reasons I will not spoil, that's where I thought you were going with, like, the absorbed Megamites. Gotcha. But the Test Selector, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagining, like, them all peering out through there. Okay, so then is that bolt just going to be see-through, or are you adding a dot in there? <laughs> I <laughs> think like... I have it as see-through, because Melmetal has a see-through one. Yeah. Okay. I can't remember if I put an eye in there. No, I didn't. I left it open. Okay. Also kind of fits the metal okay. aesthetic of, like, tough, no heart. Rah, rah, rah. No heart, yikes. What were you saying? 
Nothing. Distracted me. I don't remember. <laughs> Ooh, I'm good at distracting. Sorry. I like how you maintained the sort of blobby like quality to mm. him as well. Blah 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 blah. Well, cause like Meltian is so cute. Yes. And, and he's got a, a little blob. He's blobby shiny. Yeah. I could have done more shading and shines, I think, but this gets the job done. Yeah. I didn't do it in this illustration, but after the fact, I made... Oh gosh, I can't remember right now. I know I made the center chest hex nut black. Because mm. I looked at Melmetal later and I was like, oh wait, he's got some black nuts in there. Mm. So I went and changed at least that one. I think the ones on his back, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. At the end of the video. Finishing up the shading up there. So what do you think was your favorite part of this design? I think the guitar is pretty rad. Like, if anyone out there is a big fan and makes guitars, you can make a replica of this guitar and give it to me. <laughs> and it'll be awesome. <laughs> we will feature you on the channel. <laughs> yeah, I'll play it on the channel with my very limited skills song would you play? I would play... Hmm. It'd have to be a metal song, of course. And the first thing that comes to mind is Atreyu. I love old Atreyu stuff. I should play a clip right here for them. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. The first thing that comes to mind is uh, your my knife in the back, your fork in my road. I can't remember. Something Ooh. like that. But check that out. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's a great design. Oh, it is black. Your fork in the road, my knife in your back. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, the ones on those bracelets are too. Nice. Okay, see ya. Thanks. Bye.